take a look at what's inside. All right. I'm hoping this is a thinner, lighter laptop than the previous G2 uh, version of this laptop. So first, uh, let's see. There is some documentation. Three year limited battery warranty. Oh wow, it's pretty good. Um, usually you only get it one year, so that's kind of cool for a business, business laptop. All right, put this aside. I'm gonna take this puppy out. Oh yeah. I can tell already it's pretty light. What else is in the box? Smaller box here. Box is empty, putting it aside. So what's in here is the power adapter and the cable. All right, cool. Wow, this is pretty small, which is cool. Uh, it's light and you can stick this in your bag pretty easily. Normal ones I've had in the past were like about this big and this wide. So I'm really happy about that. Good job HP. And there we go. Long cord, no problem. Oh, this is new. 90 degree uh, power connector here. That might be helpful if the connector is on the side. Uh, most of the HPs I've had are a straight connector, so I find this interesting. Uh, see how it fits. Okay, set this stuff aside. Alright, to the good stuff. Uh, pretty good with the packaging. Got a plastic here. Alright. Alright, here we go. A little protective sheet. All right, so this is new. It says HP SureView Integrated Pri Privacy Screen. So if you hit Function F2, apparently it changes the mode so that people can't view your screen from an angle. I gotta try that out. This is something totally new. Cool. Let me remove that. All right, I'm just gonna bring this laptop closer to you guys. You can see here. So it's got the Bang and Olufsen speakers, so it's gonna get some good sound hopefully. I hear they're pretty good. And check this out, they include an NFC. How cool is that? So let's see if I'm able to use some of the NFC functions of this laptop. That's really cool they included that. HP has done a good job at adding new technology. So, so this trackpad seems pretty good. Seems like glass. The buttons are nice and soft. And they still include this uh, track point mouse uh, and the buttons up here. So compared to Generation 2, they kept some of the same stuff. Fingerprint reader. I hope it's as good as the G2. G2 was pretty good. I see they kept the power button here and then the on-off switch for Wi-Fi and the uh, speaker muting. Okay, let's take a closer look. So I see they went with a different look. This is nice and uh, silver. The G2 previous uh, model was black. It had a kind of like a rubberized uh, feeling. This is, they went a different direction this time with the G3. All right, so let's look at the back here. And yeah, it's got a vent in the bottom here. It's got the feet, it's pretty nice. And it, the back feet are a little bit elevated, so your laptop is kind of elevated a little bit. That's good for uh, keyboard typing, which is good. Now, I'm kind of disappointed that I don't see an easy release here to remove this cover, which is one thing I really liked about the G2 model of the EliteBook 840. So it looks like they've gone away from that. And in order to open this, you're probably going to have to take these little rubber things out and acts as the screws there so not a good move uh, HP I don't know why you guys did that but it's gonna be hard to service this thing but maybe that's what they do. they want they don't want you to service it okay quickly let's take a look at the ports available Kensington lock cool VGA it's always good to have right for business laptop super speed USB 
Uh, how come there's only one? Hmm, I wish there was one more. Smart cart reader, uh, which I don't really use, but what do we say? We would have put one more USB port there. Whoa, I almost lost it there. So right here we have the indicators for the Wi-Fi, power, and then whether it's charging, and then the hard drive activity. All right. On this side, we have a USB-C port. We have display port for video out. We have a connector for mic or headset, so it, it does both uh, works as a mic or as a head as a headphones. Another super speed USB 3.0 port. I wish there was more ports. There's only two, but I guess they give you. This one USB-C, I hope it's worth it. I don't have too many devices that use this, but nice of HP to include it. And this little trap jaw Ethernet connector, which worked great right on the G2, is b back on this thing. This is the dock connector. And here, you can even put a SIM card, which is kind of cool. I don't remember seeing that on the G2. So one thing that I do see that's gone is the optional battery connector. The G2 used to have one. I guess they decided uh, not to put one on the G3. And let's not forget, right here, it's hard to miss, is the SD card slot. So you could use your SD card here. So pretty cool. Some improvements. You know, they added NFC. They added this uh, USB-C port. They kept this cool Ethernet connection. They added a SIM card. And let's see how this right angled connector works. I hope it goes like all the way in. Okay, that works pretty cool. So if you use your laptop with the power on the right, that's going to work out really well. But even if you don't, you can kind of do this. So I think I'm going to like this better than the previous one that goes... Uh, Kind of like this, just a you know straight to uh, the 90 degrees. Uh, I think I'm digging it. So yeah, let's see how that works out. So very sleek. Uh, it's actually lighter than the G2. And I'll see if I can grab my G2 and compare it to this. But let's keep going for a bit. So. Keyboard, soft, but not that soft. Seems like pretty comfortable, full-size keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on in a bit and kind of just look at the, you know, the screen, how good it is. So, of course, the battery was totally drained. Uh, didn't have enough battery to uh, start it up, so I connected the power. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Nice illuminated keyboard. We see Windows 10 loading here. Wow, pretty quick. All right, so here's the laptop turned on. The screen looks pretty good if you're looking at it straight on. Now, if you're looking at it from a 45 degree angle, like say someone sitting next to you, it still looks pretty good. It starts getting a little dark. If you're more than 45 degrees, 60 or more, uh, then it does get kind of dark and you can't see it too well. As far as a top to bottom view, it looks pretty good, but there's definitely a sweet spot. And I would say that the screen is definitely better than the uh, G2 version of this laptop. Okay, I gotta give this a try. This HP SureView Integrated Privacy Screen. So by just hitting Function F2, it's supposed to kind of like set up the screen so no one can look at you over your shoulder and see what you're doing. Let's give it a try. Function F2. Okay, if you're looking at it straight on, you can still see it, right? Oh, okay, it's hard to see. So even if you're at 45 degree, it looks dim. Let's give it a try this way. Whoa, there it goes, turn it off. Okay, let's try this one more time. I accidentally disconnected the power. So here we go, from the right side. Yeah, it definitely kind of works. So, you know, if you're 
doing some work or something or you know viewing your stuff at a Starbucks or something definitely this um, HP ShareView integrated privacy screen is going to be helpful so let's just compare it with the normal view let me put it back alright so there it is and then I'm going to turn it turn it turn it turn it and you see you can still see so pretty well if I turn it this way, 